Hello, everyone. Let me begin today in a powerful world of El Eleanor Roosevelt. And the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And I have a dream, a dream about a better blue economy. A very good afternoon to distinguished excellency, guest and team of Mr. Ram Madhav. Peace and prosperity, two beautiful world with an ocean depth of meaning. It's an honor today to be able to express my view on this vast matter. Simple comparison. Matter is made up of thousands of autumn. Each autumn hold on the next with all its trust, knowing that the other autumn will not let them down. World peace is such a matter and a matter then you cannot you, you cannot touch war, but can be related when each autumn, this is each person belong to trust and work together as one. When there comes a feeling of unity in the heart of man, there will be a unity of the world as a whole, feeling beyond the boundaries of each nation, beyond the barriers of each language, beyond the walls of misunderstanding, let each country extend a hand and support and care to one another. And this, my dear guest, will be the foundations of the peace and prosperity of the blue economy. The blue economy has been an, a key factor of East and West exchange. Through history, long distance trade in warehouse selling boats made a dynamic zone of interaction between people, culture, and civilization. Stretching from Java in the east to Zanzibar and Mahambaza in the west. I remember Dr. ABG Abdul, uh, Abdul Kalam always advised G GCC country to promote agriculture sector. India has an advantage, of, uh, advan advantage over GCC country in the, in the service sector. The GCC country has to diversity their economy beyond oil and gas. Their dynamic for service are likely to increase, especially in agriculture uh, sectors and future energy. Providing new ideas of a new free zone port with a simple legal form, form, uh, for, uh, formalization. Indian Ocean is the world's third largest ocean. It's an it's an area of around 73.3 million square kilometer. And the blue water, maritime security is a major challenge for the some coastal and island countries. In particular, those ha has a large zone of maritime jur uh, jurisdiction. Since early 2000, the value of the India international trade has increased sharply while relations with both developed and developing countries have become more comprehensive. India has been actively engaging in negotiation with individual countries and regional bloc to diversity trade and expand its export matter. Growth and prosperity the Indian has exp experienced during the time has strong correlated with the growth of a blue economy and more specifically with increasing export. As an entrepreneur, we play an influence role in the economic growth and standard of living of the countries. So I wish next year we implement a workshop at the Indian Ocean Conference 2018 between the top trade entrepreneur in the Indian Ocean to talk about their experience and see how can, to, how can they be part of the prosperity of the blue economy. At the end, I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank the organizer on behalf of my country and myself for giving the chance to share the, my opinion. Let us take a blood today to remind each other that we all are one and we shall always stay as one to develop the blue economy. Thank you very much.